Today I'm going to make holiday mushrooms, holiday stuffed mushrooms, and I call them holiday stuffed mushrooms because I only make them on the holidays. They're not hard, I just don't make them throughout the year, I don't know why. But what you're going to need is about two containers of button mushrooms, about this size. Right? You're going to need breadcrumbs, you're going to need garlic, right. shallot, a shallot, not some shallot, a shallot, and a, a little white wine, and some other spices, the mushrooms. Please, please, please do not wash your mushrooms in water. Just use a regular dry paper towel or a pastry brush and get the dirt off of them, but don't put them in water because you'll ruin your mushrooms. They soak up water like a sponge. Yeah, they do. Once the mushrooms are all clean, and you're not gonna get them perfectly clean, but you know, my mom used to say, lo que no mata gorda. So that kind of means what does not kill you will make you fatter. So you'll be okay. But anyway, you're gonna take out the stem. Just move it back and forth and it should pop right out. Then I usually take a melon baller and I go inside of it and I just scoop out just inside. See? See that? And I scoop that out as best I can without going all the way through. See that? And you make a nice little pocket there. And you put them on a cookie sheet lined with uh, something like that's Reynolds there. came out with this non-stick aluminum foil that is friggin' awesome. You must buy it. Keep it in the, in the cupboard. Use your aluminum foil, the regular one for other stuff, but this stuff is great if you don't want something to stick. And don't, whatever you do, do not throw away this stuff. This is gonna be part of your stuffing, so don't throw away the stems and the stuff that you scoop out. Pardon. <laughs> I'm having, I'm testing the wine for the mushrooms, making sure that it's good mm. and that it's not spurred. Sure. Now I'm gonna chop the mushroom stems. If you can, and I mean if you really can, invest in this. I think I only paid like $10 for this in Walmart. And it's it's a chopper. And you just put the, put the mushrooms in there, see? And you chop. And look at that. <gasps> Isn't that awesome? I'm telling you, I've had this little sucker for like <laughs> 10 years. It is the best investment I ever made. Uh, when I have to chop a lot of things like this, this is what I use. But does it core apple? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can core apple. <laughs> it yeah, saves a lot of strokes with a knife. Oh yeah, without a doubt. And I like the shallot because it's a mild oniony taste. It's not strong like a regular onion. Yeah, we're gonna put about, I'd say about three tablespoons of olive oil. This is your normal garlic <laughs> press, right? You put the garlic clove in there and then you smush it. Okay. This is another type of garlic press where you twist it and as you twist it, see the garlic cloves inside of there? I got about two chopped up garlic cloves in there. You don't have to hurt your hands trying to crush garlic with that other thing. See? Then it has this thing right here where you swipe it and it cleans it off. Isn't that cool? And you could store, make sure you uncork it a little bit and you can store the rest in the refrigerator. You got your garlic. Make sure you don't burn your garlic. Lower the flame. Then we're gonna add the shallots. Let that cook for a couple of minutes. The mushroom stems. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of salt, about a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna add about a teaspoon of pepper. Now we're gonna add some white wine. About, I'd say about a quarter cup to a half a cup mm. of white wine. And a decent white wine, something yeah. to drink. I'm gonna cook that for about five or six minutes. And I got some new pins. Look at this one. This one is from Brother Bear AZ. It's, it's from Arizona, but it's a Harley Davidson pin. I love Harley Davidson stuff. Right, Frankie? I have the vest, I have oh, the Harley. Yeah. yeah, I have all the stuff for Harley Davidson. Then that one is from Brother Bear AZ. Then I have this jersey pin from XO, Bella Lover For You XO. I hope I said that right. But yeah, she gave me a beautiful pin from Jersey. Isn't that nice? That's a nice Jersey pin. And then I got all these pins here from England from Notebook of a Mermaid. And look at this. Well, it's, it's these. And look at this Princess Diana one. She put 
161 yes. on the hand. Isn't that cute? Aren't they nice? Thank you so much, guys. Look how my, my, my apron's getting heavy. Now you're gonna add about a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Again, I don't measure, I look at it and I can tell how many I'm gonna need. Okay, there we go. You hear that? And now you're just gonna mush it around. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we'll take it off the flame and off the burner and we're gonna let that cool for 20 minutes and we're gonna come back and stuff them. Okay, the filling is cooled and now you're gonna stuff your mushrooms. You take a spoon and just stuff them. Make sure while you're stuffing the mushrooms, you're preheating your oven to 350. After they're done being stuffed, I take a little olive oil and I drizzle the top of them with a little bit of olive oil. It makes a nice difference, that little juicy. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Okay, these are done. They're gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about 15 or 20 minutes, depending on your oven. Okay, they're all ready. And I'm gonna try this little, little one. Mmm, oh they're good. Mmm, they got a little crunch to the top of them. The delicious, poor Frankie's sitting there, he's been dying to try one. He's, <laughs> he keeps telling me they're cool, let's go film it. <laughs> Here honey, take one. Take one, there you go. Mm. They're good? Mm. They're good. Very good. See, that's why Frankie's with me for my mushrooms. <laughs> but try these for the holidays. What you can do is prepare them the day before and then pop them in the oven the next day. Just make sure the, cool, the stuffing is cool before you stuff them. Put them in the fridge, cover them up. Then the next day, pop them in the oven for your guests. And it's lovely and it's so nice. They're simple. They're not loaded down with a lot of extra ingredients. They're just simple stuffed mushrooms. And it's all vegetarian. Yeah, it is. It's all vegetarian. What do you know? <laughs> I finally did a vegetarian dish. Get the small ones like this. Get these size. Don't, don't get the big mushrooms because then your guests are like, they have this giant thing to work with. This is so much nicer for your guests just to pop into their mouth. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy.